Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to nest or pre-comp your compositions, your sequences in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is something you do a lot in After Effects, but it has very powerful features if you do it in Premiere Pro. So then, what exactly is a nest? It's taking a bunch of pieces of footage and then clicking the nest button, and that subsequently creates a new sequence. So we can name this sequence anything we want. And when we click enter, it combines all of those pieces of footage into a new sequence and then throws that sequence into our sequence. So it's just a sequence within a sequence. Why is this important? Well, let's say we have this piece of footage right here. And for whatever reason, we want to treat it like a single piece of footage. Start from here and reverse all of it backwards. So we want this whole thing in backwardsness, you know, going backwards. So if we highlight all these, you know, go up here, click speed duration and reverse speed. Okay, not what we are looking for. Now, each individual one is reversed, but they aren't reversed as a whole. So you see it's, you know, it's reversing the first and the second and third like you would expect it to. It hasn't reorganized them like we want it to. Now, we could do the reorganizing ourselves, you know, move this stuff around. But once if there's 15 pieces of footage here, then that's a lot of work to do. So what you can do instead is I control Z here. So it's back to going to forward motion. We can right click on this. We can hit nest, create a nested sequence. And now if we hit right click on this, we can go speed duration and we can reverse the speed of this. And now you see it starts from the end and it goes forward, reversing the speed of the entire set of clips and pieces of footage because it treats all the footage like one piece of footage. So this is really powerful if you want to apply an effect like it should be one piece of edited footage. So after it's all edited together, you want to apply something to the entire thing. Another good example of this would be if we wanted to like take this piece of footage, control CV, oops, let's not make it destructive here, control CV and then undo this speed duration. So now we have this cool effect where it's going to go sort of backwards and then it goes back into forwards. And if there were, like I said, 15 pieces of footage in each one of those, to get that reverse effect going inside of a normal composition with 30 pieces of footage, you know, 15 for each, it would take a lot of reorganizing and a lot of painstaking labor. And if you wanted to make an edit in one of them, um, so for example, if we double click this, we can go back into our composition. If we wanted to take this and make it longer, here's the magic of a pre-comp. They are both the same comp. So we made this one longer in here, so it's going to make it exactly longer in here to the exact degree. So we can actually control one and affect the entire other mirror side of things, which is really, really neat. Um, you can do you know, massive amounts of editing with just little effects, so you can kind of dial stuff down. Another effect we can do is if we back all the way back up to before we pre-comped it, let's say we wanted to put a film dissolve in. So we wanted to have this come in like this, but we want it over all the pieces of footage, like they were all edited together. A slow transition into all the editing. Maybe we have, you know, 15 or 30 more in front of this, and we want it to go to like here. So we want, you know, there are eight cuts between here and here, and then the rest of the footage. And we want to film dissolve over the whole thing. So what we can do then is we can do the exact same thing. We can highlight these, go to nest, click OK on that, and then we grab the film dissolve and we apply it to the nested layer. And now we can drag it all the way out and the film dissolve acts like it's one piece of footage, ignoring the cuts because now the, the film dissolve is applied to the footage, the sequence as a whole instead of each individual frame, something we could never do with each individual frame. That is the power of nested sequences. That is basically it for this tutorial. Remember, you can throw in some nested sequences to apply effects, effects and to kind of, you can use it for organizational purposes as well, but you can use it to apply effects to a bunch of different pieces of footage together. Thanks everyone for joining me for this tutorial. If you want to see more, you know, Adobe related content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you got any questions, comments, or suggestions for future tutorials, throw those in the comments below. And until next time guys, see ya.